Elite Dangerous offers a space exploration experience unlike any currently available. With the ability to visit every star in a simulated, highly accurate to scale Milky Way galaxy, there is a near infinite amount of space to explore. By some estimations, we've discovered less than three tenths of 1% of that space, so let's look at the tools that are available to us to explore this extensive galaxy. As the advanced exploration tools are available to every ship, we won't go into great detail around exploration outfitting for a specific ship. Please see my Long Range Exploration Quick Start Guide for those details. In our example today, we'll be using my personal favorite, the Crate Phantom. Looking at the exploration-specific modules, we start with the Advanced Discovery Scanner, or ADS. This is now standard on all ships, and you need only bind it to a fire group for use. The Composition Scanner is also now standard on all ships, again needing only be bound. The module we will need to outfit is the Detailed Surface Scanner, or DSS. This is a Class 1 optional module that fires probes at planetary surfaces and rings to scan them for exploration data and points of interest. Again, there are other modules that should be considered. Based on your type of and distance of exploration, please see the previously linked video for all those details. Several builds will also be linked in the description below. Let's now briefly look at fire groups, as we'll need to bind three modules, the ADS, DSS, and Composition Scanner. I find having the ADS and DSS bound to the same fire group works best with the composition scanner in a group alone, or possibly with other modules you may have outfit. Before we move on, let's look at the key bindings necessary for these exploration tools as there are many. Open key bindings from the main menu and scroll to the full spectrum system scanner and bind all required inputs. Once you've completed these bindings, proceed to the detailed surface scanner and again complete all required bindings. One specific note for the spectrum scanner, if you fly with a physical throttle, binding its axis to the absolute tuning axis will allow you to very quickly tune to specific signal ranges based on feel of the throttle position. As we'll be looking at how to scan, not necessarily where to scan, let's start with the first of our tools, the Advanced Discovery Scanner or ADS. This offers us two primary features, the honk or system scan that will return to us all bodies and stations in the system. This will populate our system map with a minimal amount of information, earning us the least credits. This is useful for even non-exploration ships to discover stations and other points of interest in supercruise. It also offers the full spectrum system scanner or FSSSSS, uh, the scanner, an advanced tool for searching out signal sources and obtaining detailed scans of all bodies in a system. Before you open the scanner and begin your search, you may need to move away from the primary star first, as it's possible, and somewhat likely, that signals will be blocked by the massive ball of gas in front of you. Turning and flying away, at a right angle to the plane of the system, for 10 seconds or so, should move you to a location where you'll have a clear shot at all signals. With there still being time, some signals will be blocked, requiring you to move to scan them. These will show with the typical dashed outlines and will be unable to be resolved. Upon opening the scanner, you'll be presented with a somewhat blank interface. That is, if you've not yet fired your ADS. If that's the case, start by firing your ADS, holding until the scan is complete and system data is populated. You will now see the various signal types on the filtered spectral analysis below such that you can tune the dial to each of the signal sources. As you move the dial in the lower right hand corner just below the FSA, you'll see the type of signal for that spectral range. This will let you narrow in on a specific signal type. If you intend to scan the entire system, you'll start by moving your target until you begin seeing signals. Depending on where you have the FSA tuned, you'll either see signal waves or source regions. These appear as blue areas of static with the size and color indicating the intensity of the signal. Once a signal is targeted, begin to tune to see what types may be available there, looking for a solid circle in our target. Once we find the signal, zoom in to discover its details. If there are multiple possible targets, we'll zoom in another level with signal bands pointing to the direction of the available signals. The shape of these match the shapes shown on the FSA and, with practice, can be learned such that they can be identified on site. Once the signal is resolved, zoom out to return to your search, 
repeating this until you've cleared all signals in the area. You'll know everything is resolved when you zoom out to the top level and see no colored regions around the top level signal. Continue your search around the orbital planes in the system until there are no remaining signals on the FAS and you hear system scan complete. If you're looking for specific signal types, such as unknown signal sources when in search of high-grade emissions, or high-value bodies such as Earth-like worlds, you can send your scanner to that specific frequency range first, then move your target around the system until you see the appropriate signal bands on your scanner. Zoom in from this top-level signal until you reach the specific body you're searching for. With practice, this can be done rather quickly and offers good credits and exploration rank. Explorers wishing to challenge themselves can learn to differentiate signals based on sound as each type offers a distinct audible signature. Let's now look at using the Detailed Surface Scanner, or DSS. In Supercruise, travel to a body and once you arrive, switch fire groups to the DSS on your analysis HUD and when it reads Surface Scanner, you're ready to fire probes. Enter the DSS by firing the appropriate trigger and once in the interface, you can begin targeting your probes. Start by firing a probe at the back side of the body. That way we don't have to have the probes trail in our view the entire time. To do this, we'll move our target all the way to an edge until we're going to miss, then pull back in a bit. Until you are aligned for the probe to use the body's gravity to strike the backside. You'll want to switch to the back view to confirm where the probe lands such that you can line up your others. Looking in the bottom right, you'll see the efficiency target. You should always be able to complete a scan with that view, and with engineering on the DSS, you can cut that in as much as half. To best strike the sides of the planet, look for the crossing line indicating the point at which the probes will make it around the body or not, and fire at this point. Continue to fire probes until the scan regions completely cover the body and rings if applicable, firing your last probe straight ahead. When complete, exit the DSS, returning to your cockpit to check for any points of interest located on the body or its rings. These will be listed in your navigation panel as POIs, regardless of your HUD type, but ring hotspots will only be visible using the analysis HUD. You can now target and approach any of the POIs discovered very easily, with each having a unique number for shared identification. Composition Scanner is the last of our dedicated exploration tools and is used to identify various phenomena and catalog it with the codex. Use of the comp scanner is straightforward. While in analysis HUD, place your targeting reticle over the item you wish to scan and pull and hold the appropriate trigger until the scan is complete. You'll receive a notification when the entry is added to your local codex, remembering that it won't be recorded for all commanders until you land and sell your exploration data. To do this, you'll land at any station with universal cartography, going to Starport Services, Universal Cartographics to sell your exploration data. It should be noted that selling data will increase your rank with the controlling faction of the station, with 8 million credits or more bringing you to allied status with that faction instantly. This is a great way to earn various system permits that are granted by this status. The tools available to explorers have never been more powerful, nor the results they return more interesting. Not only is exploration a great way to earn credits and rank, given the vast array of things to discover, from biological and geological sites to guardians and thargoids, exploration has never been so extensive. If you're looking for those interesting places to put these skills to work, see our upcoming video on the codex and tools to find these locations. This has been Commander Exegius, reminding you to explore dangerously, and thanks for watching. Oh.